Um, so I'll start with you for fairness, or uh, just to be fair on uh, in terms of uh, echoing your point or uh, putting forth your sentiments regarding the topic at hand. And the president next month, uh, that is uh, in August, this August, is set to visit central Kenya, his backyard, his region. And the planned visit comes at a time when there is a concern politically by the region and its electorate or constituents about its future and seeking a leader as charismatic and sellable as the president. And that future appears to be a bleak one because there appears to be divisions on the succession of the DP William Ruto of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Does it come at a time when the mountain region is rumbling and in search of a leader who will galvanize them politically beyond 2022? Well, I have thanks again and good morning. Um, May, may I begin by saying that, you see, um, it's been quite a number of times when uh, there are a lot of movements, political movements, that have taken place in the absence of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. And I think it's time to go back and galvanize his support uh, in central Kenya. I think uh, DP had made uh, some inroads in that area and has all, as well galvanized uh, his area, that area and, uh, as opposed to you know, other candidates, and it's important for uh, Uhuru Kenyatta to go back and speak to the hearts of the people. I want to reiterate the fact that, you know, um, the undertones have changed with time. Uh, the fact that he's not again reinstated that he's supporting the deputy president, and he's been very clear saying that, you see, my pronouncement for my successor will shock everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is also coming at a time when he has been out guns blazing against anybody who is, you know, politicking uh, instead of promoting the Big Four agenda. And so you realize that his area, remember his address dressing down at, at, uh, at a Corino annual meeting, I think mm -hmm. you can remember in Kasaran. And he's spoken in his dialect. Where he's spoken in his dialect and speaking directly to, you know, Kikuyu Nation. But I also think, you know, um, it's coming at a time when ODM has been asking the president to reassure them of the support to the BBI and the handshake as well. Because his lieutenants on the other side are saying, you know, this is not something, you know, uh, getting power through the back door. While on the other side, some members of ODM has been fully supporting, you know, the president and his legacy. So it's time for him to go back and reassure even you know, um, the supporters of the handshake that is fully behind this, you know, uh, building bridges initiative as well. It is also coming at a time when the country is literally staring at a referendum, two referendum that is, you know, uh, purportedly coming. The BBI, of course, is forthcoming. And yes, we have and, one on board. And, and, and Punguza Mizigo and all these things. So I think it's... Punguza it's, Gunia. And Punguza <laughs> Gunia, uh, the way it's being said. But at this time, it's, it's quite important for him. And you could remember, I think if you're reading through the dailies, He's even instructed the principal secretaries. He's instructed the administration to make sure that this visit do not meet hurdles and, and hurdles along the way. So for me, I think it's just going there. And, and one thing that I need to ad, uh, probably advise that he should not go back and begin to talk about, you know, declaration of whether the successor is. I think he should act diplomatic as he is, because this will de throw away disarray uh, a number of arrangements that he's made before. But, but in, I'll come to Victor and Seki's sentiments, but in terms of uh, the given priority politically, uh, I mean, considering how uh, politically the President Savi is, he's literally walking into a region uh, that is um, uh, a jewel, to say, in Kenya's politics because of its numbers, but an uncertain one at the same time. And his own lawmakers from the region are supporting the DP William Ruto, the expense of the development projects. Now, the opposite end, the ODM party members are supporting the president. It appears to be the, the, there's a political uh, flip floppiness or the swapping of roles in terms of what we're witnessing developing the ruling party and the ODM saying it supports the president. Considering how dexterous he is, how does he play these cards? One, to ensure that he keeps the audience, the first audience, the Jubilee party, in check, in unity, and then address the other end, the ODM party, to keep the political bromance with opposition chief Raila Odinga. I think that is what I have alluded to as I was speaking, is that on the other end, the, uh, you know, the proponents of, uh, of, of, of BBI from, from ODM and probably NASA, uh, fraternity, because we could hear now, as late as some days ago, Kalonzo is behind BBI, 
Wetangula is in full support of it. And uh, I don't know about Mudavadi, but then the, you rely on the principles that NASA are solidly behind the Building Bridges Initiative. And you see the handshake is forced. But on this other end, uh, there is no really clear direction, uh, especially from the Mount Kenya region. And yet, this is something that uh, the president has ev had even alluded to in the State of the Nation address. When he addressed the nation, he said he is fully behind the BBI in allocating around $10 billion for, you know, uh, for this kind of reconciliation measures. So it's, that's why I'm saying it's, it's, it's a hurdle on him. Because then his visit will be watched All right. by uh, you know the proponents on this other end to make sure that it's 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 the people of Mount Kenya are behind it. But then uh, it's hurdles because you know you can't force people with an idea, uh, and and you realize that uh, some section of, of of Mount Kenya, including Kikuyu, just here, with the MP, is just saying this is something that really wants to create. Unnecessary position, mm -hmm. and you so ongeza wa Kenya mizigo. Lastly, as I as I just conclude, remember there there was a Mount Kenya caucus some times ago. Yes, in Naivasha. In Naivasha, yes. when uh, Senator Irungo Kangada had a proposal, he said, uh, but then the, uh, the rest were not interested in hearing his proposal. And I think I think it's time probably they will reconvene and look into this proposal that the senator had. The pronouncement that the president is younger and is not going anywhere, yet. Uh, his constitutionally, his term ends at 2022. Of course, he cannot buy uh, unless there's going to be a change to the constitution. <laughs> Victor Marende, lots of development, but allow me to just uh, uh, to just cherry pick on the central Kenya region. The House of Mumbi appears to be uh, heading politically wayward. You look at the support for the DP appears to be divided along the line. There are some who say they only pay allegiance to the president at the expense of development to achieve or realize the big four agenda. Some say that. Uh, the president must assure uh, and guarantee the DP that the succession plan is intact and is going to be smooth. There are doubts and uncertainties. Does he roll out or can he roll out uh, the uncertainties in his own party and house, which appears to be in shambles and unclean politically during his visit to the house? You know, we need to know what takes Uru Kinata to central because he's been going there. Ruiru is in central. He was in Kiambu the other day. That is central. But he, he seems to be saying that he's not been going there. Now he's going. So it means he wants to make a statement on the boss. I think he's only bringing it in a different way that I'm coming to central. But I think he wants to reassure the people that I'm the boss and I'm in control. That is one. Two, what is outlined in his visit are all development projects, if, if you read through what mm -hmm. he's going to do there. He's going to launch project A, B, a factory there, a, a building here. And I believe that is what a president must do. A president must reassure his, his people as the citizens of Kenya that a project or two can be launched from time to time. So. In the president going to launch industries, that one I support. Because that is what he's been saying. And when he was speaking in Ruiru about his visit, he said, I'm coming. And when I'm coming, it must be known that I'm still against some of you campaigning for 2022. He mentioned it last week. And I believe... He is true to those words that he doesn't want someone speaking in <coughs> 2022. But then there is the worry that is held by, 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 by my friend Dan, mm -hmm. that there is a division and there, there is a faction that supports BBI. And then there is the Tanga Tanga faction. I don't believe there is Punguza Mizigo in Central. Punguza Mizigo has a, around six, six members in the country, so we don't care. <coughs> but then... When you talk about Tanga Tanga headed by the deputy president and its members in central, are you put to task now? You cannot mention 10 members of parliament who fully support Tanga Tanga in central. MPs, at least 10, I doubt. Can we, can we count them? We can. We can try. Okay. Um, like keep your up. 
-hmm. That is is that central? Ketwaruguru. Is that central? Yes, of course. That is central. Yes. What do you mean by central? Ketwaruguru. Oh, okay. okay. Madira member of parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, Kikui member of parliament. Mm -hmm. Governor Farnan Waititu. They are all elected, right? Members of parliament. Members of parliament. Okay, uh, we have Madira. Uh, we, let's do this quickly. Mm -hmm. um, Keharu constituency member of parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, Ndini Nyoro. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have... Um, uh, Kirinyaga, I mean, uh, Kirinyaga, woman, uh, Piru Chingirichi, I think she's Kirinyaga, Piruchi. And uh, me, we have five. Those are two. We have five. Women reps are members of parliament. Uh -huh. Yes, so we have five. Uh -huh. And uh, we. Uh, can we get the other five in the course of the. I need to recall them because uh, it's, a vast, it's a vast region with members of parliament. Mm. Uh, so just recall perfectly whether uh, I can get the other five. But let me just come to Kelvin then. Uh, and no, as I, I and finished. So I alluding to the fact that we have a divided central, you'll realize that the number of MPs in that camp are going down day by day. Okay. That's factual. Well, can I remember parliament, Alice Wahome? Mm -hmm. well, so we have six? Uh, we have six. Yeah. So at